Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. Today we're going to work on a simple and easy watercolor tutorial. It's an initial with some wildflowers, but you can put anything you want behind it. But it's just something to give you an idea to do if you're stuck and you're in a rut and you need something new and fun to paint. Um, if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. Questions, leave them there also. Um, don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know when the video is up. Otherwise, you don't know when they're up. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. Okay, we're gonna go over um, materials and supplies and whatnot. Um, this is like a five by seven inch piece of 100% cotton. Uh, arches paper, cold press, paints, paper towel, water glass jars up here, paint brushes over here as I go over them. Um, how I did this, and I also you need um, masking fluid. If you don't have masking fluid, then just paint around it, whatever, how I'll, this is just an easier way to do it. So I just printed out um, a letter E, and I traced it onto the paper using graphite paper. Um, it's a special kind of paper that looks like this. You can probably get it on Amazon. If you don't have graphite paper, what you do, you should take a pencil, a regular two a regular pencil, and you you just draw all on the back of this, and then you draw your E, and it will do the same thing. Basically, because you have graphite pencils, it do the same exact thing. Um, so there you go. So I put the masking fluid down already; it's dry, and now we're just going to paint um, on top of it. Um, I'm choosing to paint various types of flowers, very simple flowers. I'm going to grab my uh, Princeton long eight round brush and we're just going to paint some flowers and what's great about the masking fluid is that you're painting on top of it and you don't have to worry about um, ruining the E. So I'm just doing simple petals for these blooms kind of like a poppy. So you see this teardrop kind of petal and another one over here another one over here and because that's there you can just paint right there on top of that which is great. Do it and other places around. I want to just fill all around where the E is with the blooms. Again, just keep playing with just simple, I'm doing like a simple four or five petal flower. In the pink tones, if you want to go back in and grab some darker crimson and just dot in. Well, that one's a little too much, but you know what I mean. You can go in and uh, bleed in some of the dark tones right in there. This one I didn't put the center in, so I think I'll end up having to make it a kind of like a poppy and I'll just bleed out some of that paint. And grab some of my yellow paint. And I'll make some yellow blooms. They're just simple, pointy daisy um, flower petals. Just go around like that. Put some small ones over here. You keep going around the letter. So I'm just doing simple, just taking the brush basically and wisping out. The brush itself creates the petals. So you're not doing anything special. And I may grab a, make some violet with some ultramarine. Get this bluish purple color. And I'll put some little purple blooms, some bright blooms. Again, it could be a four petal leaf. Simple. Just going all around the letter. We'll add in some greenery. Leaving a space in between the little petals here. I haven't 
gone around this part yet. Make it a little bigger out here. Keep throwing in more colors, variations. Um, you can put in, you want it really bright, throw in some of this medium red into that yellow. And you've got some orange blooms. It's more like wildflowers. Again, you could just keep them in the same simple petals like I'm doing here, or add in a different shape, which is more like this open poppy. Kind of a half moon. And then you do some little ones on the side here. Again, same thing. We're just going to keep filling around the E, the flowers for now. We'll add in the, the branches and stems in a minute. Just filling in this area. I think I need some more color. I think I'm going to make a blush color, so I'm going to add the orange to the pink. And make that blush a little more orange. You can make a rose in here. Um, how I like to do roses, pretty simple. I take a deep, oh, my crimson's almost up. A color like a crimson. I'll zoom in. And I'm just going to do a line that's curved and then the line that's curved around it. I keep going around like that. I'm going to clean up my brush and I'll grab some water on my brush and I'm just going to hit the ed outer edge and push the paint from that. And there you have that loose, pretty rose. Again, we'll do that again. Um, a line and a line and the little skinny lines going around. See that? Clean up your brush. Grab some water and put it next to it and just push out the color. And then you have that really soft, pretty rose. Do that one up here too. You're just gonna put a variety of flowers all around. At this point, you know, I'm still gonna add more flowers, but I'm gonna add some greenery now. So mix whatever color greens you want. Um, I had some hookers green here with some sap green. I might throw in a little burnt umber. It's very dark, but I'm actually gonna water it down and then just take it off my brush a little bit, like I show you, paper towel. And then I'll add some stems and some greenery leaves. Still a little too, in that bright eh, green tone. I wanna make it more olivey. So I can add a little red. Now it's more brown. So I'll have to mix that again. We'll have to add more medium green. And get more of that olive kind of tone. And I'm just putting petals all around stems, petals. We have to fill out all around that E so you can see the E when we're done. Otherwise, what was the point, right? I'm just gonna keep filling it in. But you have to do this in sections because if you paint all the flowers first and then you have no room for the stems and the leaves, then that's not gonna work. So now I'm just throwing in stems and big leaves around by the roses. It's just a fun little easy tutorial, something to do, new ideas if you're stuck. If you're stuck what to do. And you're just having fun figuring out new things to do. Just throwing in the leaves all over the place. Right now they're kind of monotone, so I'm gonna add a little of the indigo to the green. Get a little dark. Some dark greens in here. Just keep 
playing with that and just bleed in some greens. So just keep playing and adding. See how we have some dark ones in here. Again, we're going to go back and add some more blooms now. And we're going to just, because you want to fill in it all around by this, by this E. Throw in some more red. And I'm going to get some detail on this one. And over here. It feels like it's missing something over in here. Just kind of keep throwing in colors and greens. And then we're going to throw in some lighter greens. I'm going to grab that yellow. Make it a lime green. Put some more leaves in here. So it's kind of looking crazy, but we're filling it all in with greenery. And that's how it should be kind of crazy looking right now. Put some like nice fun branches shooting out. Like this. And now we're going to go back in and add the detail to the flowers and then we can pull up the um, masking fluid and see how it came out. That's the fun part, the reveal. Who doesn't love a reveal, right? So then this flower, it could be like a sunflower. Might go in and add some orange tones to the edges. And this one. And this one, and this one. Real simple details. And then the orange one itself. Add some darker details. Again, fill that in. Um, and the pink one, I might want to put some yellow in here. Oops. And now on the yellow one, we can go in and add that burnt umber, blackish. If you want to make it like a sunflower, put a little halo there. Again, here and here. So it could be like a black eyed Susan or a sunflower. And then we could have made a poppy out of this this one here. Gonna have to let that part dry though, because it's red, it's still wet in here, and that's not gonna do well. We can add some of the little stamens in this one. Get the details. Some stamens in the rows. And this pink one needs a little detail also. Go in and add some red detail. And the purple ones too should have some deeper tone purple details. Just putting it in the center is enough the purple ones. Working kind of fast here. On these little branches outward, we could um, put some little leaves on here and add really tiny, teeny flowers. Should be kind of pretty. Be a nice little detail. So adding some little leaves and then we can go in and add um, different color ones. You can add some pink ones. It's just going to add another dimension to your painting. Some purple ones. See these little purple flowers? You're just dabbing it and it looks like little teeny flowers. Nothing special. And here, this bright red balloon. Adding in some more of that red detail. And 
Okay, so we're going to let this dry, and then we're going to pull up, filling in some of the rose details. I'm going to pull up the masking fluid. So we're going to come back to that. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. We take our rubber cement pickup. That's what I call. That's what I called rubber cement pickup. You can find these on Amazon for like four dollars. And we're gonna take up our letter E. Ooh, look at that! It just pulls right up. Voila! How cool was that? Initial. This is a great idea for a gift to give somebody for Mother's Day, birthday. Um, someone who has a new baby be kind of pretty and you can do this painting and for their, their bedroom um, so many uses I mean you know if you didn't want to do flowers and it's for a guy you can do leaves itself um, or boy you can do I don't know fish in the background or something so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments section I try and get to them if I can't you know because I'm busy like everybody else and uh, thank you guys so much for coming by my channel. Thank you so much for um, all the love and support you, you're giving me. I appreciate it very much. And I hope you guys are staying safe and staying good. Take care and have a nice day.